Hello everyone, and I would like to, boys and girls, salute you and greet you to my PlayStation Home. Now, for those who know, I've been wanting to do this video for a while now because I had said to, you know, you guys and girls that I would show you my place, and I decided to do it a little bit differently, you know, other than, you know, other people just showing you their place. So, what I'm going to do today is show you the difference between real and fake of my places. So, I want to welcome you to my PlayStation Home, and I want to walk around for a little bit first. And show you, you know, the plants are right here. Little bedroom. This is not even, uh, this, I'm not even finished this right here. Uh, I would like to say that I have not been in PlayStation Home since probably 2011, maybe, when I was doing all the mini games. And the thing is, most of the games that I just play, you know, on my PlayStation, apparently I got trophies for. Uh, for example, this shirt I have on with this travel bag when I was playing Galaga. I, I'm sure, as you can see, all these games right here from the Namco Museum, all these, uh, these arcade units, down there too? Yes. They are from actually the arcade games that I played on the PlayStation digitally and then they just gave them to me as a gift. Like they were, I guess, trophies for their time. Uh, as you can see, I have trophies from other uh, mini games that I'm sitting here playing. So yeah, XI when XI was big. Uh, every, mini games that, you know, that come along. Look okay, there goes again. You know, more trophies, as you can see. More Dig Dug right here. And all these games, if I decide to play these games right now through PlayStation Home, they would work. The biggest disappointment I've had so far, as you can see the little PlayStation right here and the PlayStation controller uh, table, uh, the PlayStation does not work, of course. <laughs> um, the TV is the biggest disappointment of all. And I say this because when you got this from the Assassin's Creed thing, uh, from the room, and you did the mini game and all, they gave you the big TV, but here was the problem. You can't use it. You would have thought by now that Sony would have been able to, you know, let you stream stuff on here, have friends over, especially during their E3 conferences due to the fact that with E3, what Sony did was instead of putting the conferences in these TVs so that people can see them in their own private places and not have to worry about congestion, what they did was they put it in large areas in PlayStation Home where tons of people would get together and start doing animations and stuff so it would be choppy and it became quite annoying. After a while, you thought Sony would have done something with this, but apparently not. Now, as we all know, you know, PlayStation Home is Second Life, apparently. You know, before it wasn't used, you know, it didn't used to be like that. Early In its early rendition, it was just that, yes, the pool table works, people. Uh, was it? It was just to, you know, pretty much go around and play mini games. That's what I used it for, to play games. I never went around, like most of these people you see, and harass women and, hey, can I get your number on that? I never did all that because what was the point? You know, you play bowling, you play pool, you play, you know, you play poker, you know, stuff like that. Of course, you do that stuff in real life with friends, but, you know, to sit around and friends that you, you know, aren't in the city anymore, you can sit around and play pool with them and talk because you can use your mic in this, as you can see, more arcade units that actually work. Galaga, Pac-Man, they all work, and you can have people over, you know what I mean, and actually play. So for me, it was, this was a way of playing games with friends or just sitting and talking with friends uh, that I know that was a way from, you know, from the city, you know, they were in other states and things of that nature because they moved. So for me, it was, it was a good idea, you know, everyone was on board and we had fun with it. However, I would like to show you right now since, as you can see, this apartment, I'm going to show you the difference between this apartment that I have in PlayStation Home and my old apartment before I moved, you know, that was up in Rittenhouse Square. So why don't we take a look at that real quick. Hey guys and girls, see this was my place. This is my old place where I used to do all my recordings. Like you see, this is the kitchen, all right? It's pretty narrow, but it's nice, all right? But I want to go through here and show y'all. Look, this is, how, this is how I was living, all right? See all this? Now, I'm sure you can see that right here, this is where the spa is. I'm, I'm going to set it up right here for you. Where I was doing the videos, I'm sure y'all see that in the background. That was the bathroom and everything. So, as you can see, look at the view. Look at the view. Y'all going to sit here and tell me that I was hurting, huh? <laughs> I was just some, you know, guy who just talked in his mom's basement. He was just poor. And, and that's what y'all want to go with, huh? Y'all understand what I'm about now, all right? And this was, like I said, I'm just moving up. Understand the reason I left here was because of more space. That's all it was. Because for as much as I was paying here, you know, let's check out the bedroom. You know what I mean? Let's check out the bedroom. As much as I was paying here, I pay for, you know, the new space that I have. Look at this, look at this, it's, look at the view. Could you imagine this at night? Wait a minute. Let's turn to the other, <laughs> the other window. As you can see, lots of natural light, lots. Let's go in the walk-in closet, okay? Lots of natural light. Look at this. This is where the stuff was, you know what I mean? 
So it goes to show you, that view. Like I said, even though this place had its problems every once in a while, understand, this is what I was about. So you have all these dudes talking about some don't listen to event. He's just some dude living in his mom's basement. Really? Really, son? <laughs> like I said, this is what happens when people don't know what the hell to say to you. Because, mind you, over opinions on what, video games and sports? Come on, man. Stop this. Like I said, this is what I was working with. Like I said, this is like I said, you know, it's ever since 2010. 2010. If you go back to the old videos, I was living comfortably. All right? Because I knew how to play the game. You know, you have different places and different spots to go to. That's how it is. But it seems like a lot of people haven't learned that hustle yet. And then you had dudes back in the day who was just like, you know, oh, I'm better than event when it comes to living because look at my big screen TV. And I'm like, yo, like, I got three of those. But, you know, I'm not going to get to no pissing contest with these dudes. I'm not. I just want to show you fans, this is what I was working with at the time. All right? So, it goes to show you that, like I said, all we do is keep moving up. That's all you do. But it seems like a lot of these YouTubers get very stagnant. They get very old, and they got to start begging for money. And now we have, what, a tip jar now? You got to be kidding me. Look, this is what I'm talking about, all right? This is what happens when people don't take care of their business, and then they got to beg. And then people like me, who don't even monetize videos, they say, oh, you're just mad because you're not making as much money as them. Really? Like I said, I make money in real life, son. That's what I do, all right? As opposed to these dudes who want to sit on their ass and, you know, try and beg for money and think that that's okay. Look, you got to go out and get yours. All right? That's what it is. You go out and get what you're worth. That's all it comes down to. But it seems like a lot of people still haven't, you know, understood that. Especially some of these dudes who, you know, who are still in school and then will try to jump on me for my professions. Like, nah, man, you in school. You don't even pay rent. Don't even get on me with that, man. You can't do nothing about that. All right? But I'm sure after this video, they'll still sidestep that too. As far as I'm concerned, this is what I'm about. All right? Good living. Like I said, if my YouTube channel went down today, guess what? I'll be good. Like I said, this is my old place. So you know what? Let's go look at the balcony. Now, before I show you guys and girls the balcony outside in real life of where I was living, let me show you the balcony outside here, okay? As you can see, my character lives near the marina. <laughs> and as we all know, I live in the city. I don't live near the marina. If I would have to live near the marina, that means I would have to move down near Penn's Landing. And I put it like this. It's very expensive there, but it was still doable. But you also have to understand noise congestion. Yeah, it was nice to, you know, to sit on the balcony and look at the fireworks from the waterfront. But trust me, the noise is just absolutely insane there. So as you can see, here's the marina. Chairs, of course. Go around the corner here. I have my own soda machine. That's right. Doesn't work, but I have my own soda machine, <laughs> you know? I just want to show you the balcony real quick because I want to show you the difference between this balcony and my real life balcony or where I used to live. And this is the deck, as you can see, people. This is, this is what I'm talking about. This is my thing. See, this is the deck that they used to have a better deck before. It used to be a, an actual roof and everything, but they remodeled it. Um, as far as I'm concerned, as you can see, look, look at this guy of the city. Look at the city. Come on, man. Look at this. We're going down here at the park. You know what? I'm going to go a little bit higher so y'all can see. Look at this. Tell me, once again, please, how I'm the one <laughs> who's hurting right now. I don't get this. Like I said, y'all can sit here and talk all this about these YouTubers and how successful they are. But understand, at the end of the day, real life still wins, man. Real life over YouTube. So I'm not trying, I'm not even trying to hit that, man. But as you can see, go back over this way. Got a little tower over here, so the reception was always good with the internet. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, this is what I was working with. This is just my deck. But, you know what? Since I'm gone now, I think it's time that we go back into the home. Now that I've shown you a tour of this place, why don't we go look at the summer home real quick so I can show you what my new place looks like, okay? So, let's go into the navigator. And let's go into the summer home. Some of these places, things I don't even know. I don't even know what that Darla's Den is. All right. That's a, apparently a media game. And like I said, these are also places, as you know, Batman Arkham Asylum. You got that when you played Batman Arkham Asylum. You know, they gave you, the, you know, when you start winning, you know, or beat the game, you know, you unlock stuff as you went along. So let's go look at the summer home. They said, none of the stuff I've ever paid for in this game. I don't think I'd ever pay for any of this stuff. Either I got the stuff in beta or I just did mini games to play, you know, and I enjoyed the mini games for what they were. 
So we are now at my summer home. And I'm gonna start first with the outside balcony, I believe. Okay, can't go that way, have to be this one, right? Yeah. So as you can see, still on the waterfront. It's a shame that the monorail never comes around. It's sad, it is a nice view, but you know, by now you'd think they would have done something with that. It's been years, you know? But as you can see, this is the, pretty much the patio. And it's really nice. And then we go inside. And you can see how I decorated the lights and all. As you see, I have soda machine. You know, once again, arcade machine over there. Another arcade machine right over there, Big Doug. And come down here. And you can see, you know, it's kind of dark here. But this was a good haven, you know, for when you had even more people over that didn't fit in your PlayStation home. Sometimes we would uh, have some stuff here. Look, here you go. DJ unit. And you have, you know, people over. Uh, these pictures, they used to be able, used to be able to put up pictures of your own, like, of, of your own stuff that you wanted to put up, as in photos or, you know, stock uh, images that you probably get on the internet, and it seems as though they've taken that down, and no, I did not pay for those frames. Um, like I said, once again, Pac-Man, Galaga, and of course the TV that doesn't work, which is sad. Now, understand that the reason why it's so bare in here, it's not that much uh, furniture, is because... PlayStation only gives you but so much room to put stuff in. They give you a number of slots, and then that's it. After that, you're done. So, now that you've seen this place, let's go and look at my newer place, you know, the place that I live at today. All right, everyone, as you see, I said I'd do this, and this is my new place. I'm on the first floor of it, right at the door here. As you see, here's the door. But as you see right here, there's the closet. And um, I'm going to put a picture there. It's kind of blank. It's it's, it's a quite a large wall. I'm going to put a picture up there. But let's go up to the second floor, okay? We'll walk up to the second floor here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the steps are quite creaky. And trust me, with these type of steps, you definitely need a floor mat. As you can see, here we go. This is what the place looks like. So you can see it. See? Very nice. Very nice indeed. Now, I will say this. You know, it's been taking a while to do this. I've been showing you guys and girls on Twitter, and I talked about on the stream. Uh, as you can see right here, the two leaks that were in the ceiling, they're getting ready to come patch that up tomorrow. And here's the thing about this, all right, because they talked about how, you know, they couldn't find the leak, but they're going to come and patch it tomorrow. And I told them, I'm like, why are you coming and patching, you know, a leak, you know, patching a wall, and then it possibly may leak again? I mean, don't get me wrong, insurance covers this, but it's going to become a headache, as you can see. So... Yeah, South Park is on. Um, as you can see. Um, now, I want to show you all. Look, this is the window. I'm sure you can see. That was a homecoming gift from a friend. She brought that over. It's still, it's still you know, trying to grow. Um, right here. The couch still the same. Everything's still the same. All right. As you see, I'm still, I'm still doing things, you know, trying to get things together. I'm sure you can see me in the mirror over there, so you know I'm recording. Now, for everyone that says about the echo, because I'm sure you can hear it now, look at how tall my ceilings are. Look. Look how tall my ceiling is. I'm gonna sit down for a minute so you can see that's the second floor. Well, the third floor, I'm sorry. That's the third floor. So you can see just how tall my, look, it keeps going up and up and up. So you can see, and you probably can't see it because the light glare, but there are windows up there. So you can see just how tall my ceilings are. So no matter what I do in this living room, all right, the ceiling is going to be tall and I'm not going to be able to do anything, so. Let's keep going, all right? Let's go through here, go through the hallway. And see this little hallway, I'll show you a little bit of the kitchen. Kitchen need to be done. I bought something not too long ago. But, you know, I do a lot of cooking. Now that strainer, I gotta clean out that strainer, but it's cool, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna open that up because that's uh, the second floor bedroom and that still has a lot of boxes and a lot of crap in it, all right? So, show you a little bit of uh, bathroom, as you can see. All right, let's keep on going. Let's go up to the third floor. It's amazing how, you know, a lot of people, when I was, you know, doing all this, were saying how, how mad I am that, you know, Let's Players, you know, have great places because they sit 8, 10 hours a day. You crazy, man? I told you I'm not going to do that for 8, 10 hours a day just to make ends meet. No way. This is my outside uh, porch, as you can see. I may have to come outside. I'm going to show you all the bedroom real quick. All right. Check this out, y'all. My bedroom. That's right. Now, there's a mirror. I still got to put that mirror on. I'll show you all because this bedroom is extended. That is an indoor balcony, people. That's right. I'm going to show you all the outside balcony as well. All right. I'm going to stay at home. That's the bathroom as well. Going in. 
You know what I'm saying? So y'all can see it. I'm gonna go to the indoor balcony, as y'all saw up top. And this is my little sitting area. Even though this is more of an extended bedroom, you know, show y'all right here. You know, glow in the dark statue. I got that actually from Thailand on it. Yeah, believe it or not. I mean, that was like 10 years ago. Um, as you see, more DVDs and stuff. Now, I want to show y'all. I'm going to look over overhead so you can see just how high these ceilings are. And like I said, this is the ceiling. Now, I'm going to look down at the living room. As y'all can see, living room is very, very tall. I was even thinking about putting extra pictures up there. You can see how tall that ceiling, uh, that tall that wall is. I was actually thinking about putting three more extra pictures up. I wasn't sure. And, of course, down there, it's all the way down there is the first floor. All right? So, as you can see, this is nothing that, you know... That I can do about the, you know, the ceiling. There's nothing I can do about it. I, I was going to try and record in here in the balcony, but you can still hear the echo. So I've been doing most of the recordings, if you can't see, right here. That's right. I've been doing most of the recordings as of late right here. I just keep the, the blinds closed, the shades closed, because the light that comes from the balcony is really strong on the camera. As you see it from a distance. But the closer I get, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit different during the day. But as you can see... That's what my you know, my outside looks like. That's what my view looks like from my balcony. All right, just to show y'all, I'll go over here too so you can see it. There goes my trash can. It doesn't really matter, but um, <laughs> as you can see, that's that outside of the street. So you can see the view from my balcony, and I'll put down a little bit. As you can see, the other buildings right here, and I actually have a shade as you can see right there. It actually extends out, so when the sun comes out, I can put the shade out, and uh, was it? You don't have to worry about you know the sun coming in and hitting it. But as you can see, this is a little courtyard they give me. All right, matter of fact, let's go outside for a minute. Let's go and look. Because I don't think the inside of this does justice. So, let's go on out here for a minute. And you see, the outside of this, the buildings, crazy, man. And then we'll go over here and look. So you can see the outside courtyard. This is my view. And if I go over here, you can see even more buildings so there you have it this is what this is what it comes down to so for everyone who says yep and they say i'm gonna put a um grill out here and you know you know come out here and be able to relax i'm sure i will do videos eventually out there you know when i have the time but understand people i can lock that later it's not a big deal but understand this is where everything like i said this is what i've been working on so there's a lot of work that still needs to be done in this place but also understand that, you know, with work and sometimes I got to stay home because they got to come and do maintenance. And like I said, they don't ever tell you what's going on here. But, you know, that's, this is just how it is. Like I said, this is how adults live, man. So eventually, you know, once I get this place up to snuff, you know, it's going to look great. You know, it looks great. I think it looks good right now. But um, don't let, you know, don't get it twisted. There's more things that could be worked on in here. You know, as you see. I said hallway so like i said just wanted to show you because i told y'all i would show y'all the place so it still has some work to be done but definitely like i said indoor and outdoor balcony you know what i mean two bedrooms it, like you can't get any better than this as far as i'm concerned and like i said so you have all these dudes on the internet telling you how i live and don't know i, I find that kind of funny so like i said i've been doing this since i've been winning since what 2010 so we got here you see these people walking by there's more buildings out here. Like I said, they're getting ready to build a building actually right here. This little park right here, this area, they're getting ready to build a building in a year. So can you imagine how loud that's going to be when it comes down to uh, having to work and sleep and try to record? And Yeah, it's going to be a pain in the ass. But hey, it's all good. As far as I'm concerned, this is something that I really enjoy. This is somewhere I've, I'm loving right now, living. That's why I said a lot of people are like, oh, you, just, you should just find a, a room to sit in and record. It's like, look, it's like, I got this place to live, all right? I wasn't worried about recording when I got the place. So that, that's how I see it. You know, living comes first. Then, you know, later, you know, entertainment and recording and all that type of stuff. I'm not worried about it. So as far as I'm concerned, if people don't like that, it's just too bad. And I've told people, you know, if it's too much for you to move on. I got a microphone now, but still, as you, you, still, you can still hear the echo of everything. But what can you do? You know what I mean? There's nothing you can do about it. So, like I said, if that's just something that's going to deal with, it's not a big deal. Now, you can see I just uh, finished, was it, working. There's a lot of cords down there at the bottom. Uh, was it? That's the Ethernet cables and stuff. I got to take that stuff out. Um, but on the right-hand side, 
I got my PlayStation, I got my Oya, I got my fighting sticks and stuff in there. You know what I mean? Recorder on the left here, as you can see, there's the, uh, was it the amp or whatever? I forgot, the, the big subwoofer. So, but in there, I got the receiver in there for, for the uh, surround sound and all that stuff in there. Here in the Ottoman is where a lot of the games are. Like I said, I play most of my games. So keep y'all keep asking me, you know, when you'll get your game room together. My entire place is my game room. <laughs> right? That's all I see. I play mostly in the living room. You know what I mean? With all the natural light and everything. That's how I like to play. You know, I don't like to be hooked up in some type of cave. I, I don't do that. I never have been the type of person to just play in like a solid, you know, solitary room. Not. Nah. Alright? As you see, there's the wine stuff, liquor stuff. Like I said, man, this is what I do. So hopefully y'all can see the difference between, you know what I mean, with some, how some people live and how I live. But like I said, there's a lot that still needs to be done. Like I said, these fools better come and fix this, man. I, that's ridiculous, you know what I mean? But you can do, you know, it is what it is. There's nothing you can do about it. You know, all these pictures and carrying on, they got to be swapped out, actually. Um, but, yeah, this is it. And, you know, this is where I come to at home to every day and wake up every day and, you know, I'm pretty happy with this place for now. You know, there's that, that much noise as opposed to the last place. You know, she won't hear any sirens. You know, there's a loading dock across from me, but that's not that big of a deal. You know what I mean? Of course, there's some beeping and stuff like that. Yeah, loading dock, not that big of a deal. So, I mean, but they're not, it's, you know, they're only by certain hours. I don't know if you can see it or not. You probably can't see it from down there. But, um, yeah, it's only for certain hours. And, you know, that's because it's business, you know? You can do about that, man. So, yeah, this is it. Hopefully y'all enjoyed, you know, the small tour, and then we can get back to recording and get everything back to normal, and hopefully you're enjoying everything. I'll talk to y'all then. So case in point, people, as you can see, it's all about good living, and it's all about taking care of what you have to in the real world, as opposed to, you know, what these internet guys tell you. In no way, shape, or form should you think that YouTube is the future. Go get your education. Go get a good, you know, make a good living for yourself and work hard. Now, granted, not all the time you work hard will be rewarded, but you have to understand that you still have to work hard because you get what you're worth. You go out and get what you're worth. That's what you're supposed to do. Not sit around and think that if you create enough videos that you can be the next cootie pie. Anybody who really thinks that that is reality, they really need to reevaluate their life because that's not how it happens. And as you can see, when YouTubers do decide to do these, these type of things, what happens? They end up falling to this thing where at first they did it for the love and now they're doing it for the money. We've even seen some YouTubers who tell people, look, if you want me to keep making videos because I'm going to stop making them if I don't get X amount of uh, views, then go lie to your friends. Go lie to your family. Tell them to promote this and that is the greatest video in the world. We've seen these type of YouTubers say this type of stuff, you know, and it's just, it's really pathetic. It's really sad to see, you know, like I said, if my channel goes down today, hey, it, it is what it is. I, you know, I, I'm living comfortably. And it seems like others don't understand that's what you should be putting first. You know, this is a hobby. It should not be your life. I don't understand that. And I guess a lot of, I guess a lot of, I, maybe it's just not meant for me to understand. Maybe. A lot of people like to say to entrepreneurs, I, I don't see that. I see it as a bunch of people just getting on camera and just, you know, talking games. And some of these people get egos about themselves, which I don't understand why. You play video games, just like me. You talk about video games just like me, just like you. You know, we talk, we discuss, we play. That's what we do. In no way did I think that ever that you should have an ego about yourself because you're playing video games. Never understood that. It, 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 didn't, it never used to be a thing. But apparently these days it is. And I'm not trying to hear it's part of the personality. It's not. All right? That's someone. If someone is getting attention and they're feeling good about themselves to a point where now they think that they start walking around saying, do you know who I am? There's a problem. There really is. But it seems like when I say that, people get mad. Anyways, people, I just wanted you to see the place and see how you like things. And I just want to say, have fun. And I hope that you enjoyed the tour of, you know, PlayStation Home and my real place, which still, as you can see, still needs some renovating, but still all good. Anyways, y'all be safe. Y'all take care. I'm out.